I don't know why it has that as that. That's, that's kind of dumb. There we go. Cool. Now, I will definitely try, because my camera is being a little shit, stay, my camera is being a bit of a shithead. Is it going to stay? Of course not. Of course it's not going to stay. Hey, camera, stay. Ha 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 There we go. <laughs> there we go. I hate having to play uh, tag with my camera here. Okay, yes, I know my shelf's a little bit of a mess. That's to be expected here. Slight adjustment here. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to take this moth. Exit that. Let me try and see what I can do. Oh, it's too, too small. There we go. Okay, so my moth is going to be facing the other way. Yep, there it is. So it's over here on the right side. see what we want to do. Well, personally, for me, I'm going to take a lot of this out real quick. And do this. Because I'm going to try and come up with an idea real quick. I'm not going to be streaming for very long today. Try and keep my phone near me. Oh, 
This was from a previous sketch thing I had done, but I'm going to try to take it and take the moth tattoo and do a little bit extra on it. Because there is a flash tattoo sale tomorrow to help the storm victims in the area. But there's also another artist, I might end up with two, <laughs> there's another artist that's also doing tattoos to try and save his cat. So I may try to help both the cat and storm victims. Hopefully, hopefully I can. I'd like to help both of them. Just kind of depends on what can be done. I mean, we wear storm victims as well, but it's, we weren't incredibly horribly maimed or anything. We just kind of have a tree in our backyard. I'd say we're okay for the most part. Sometimes things happen. But you just gotta roll with the punches and hope for the best. Try to get all of this out of there. I'm extremely tired. I have been up since seven in the morning because people think think being up that early in the morning is a great idea. Screw all you morning people, okay? Morning people out there, you and your morning bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am not in any way, shape, or form a morning person. And I am not not necessarily like, uh, I don't do mornings, I don't do people. I'm not a morning person. I'll just leave. Peopling? Gross. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I'm not sure who all is out there at the moment watching. But, uh, whoever you are, hello and good evening. I'm gonna do like there and then do there. And, what is that? The flash sheet? So, first off, we're going to take this and we're going to go over here. Flip that horizontally, move it up a bit. I'm going to start it over here. So with the moth being like that, we're going to do a little bit of sketch work. So go up to a three. Do that. Down a bit. Technically, could move this up a bit. Rotate it a bit more. I wish I was a tattoo artist. I'd have fun. Your 
We're rotating this because this is getting frustrating. Wait, I almost went the wrong way. Good enough. <laughs> it is good enough. It's good enough for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just it's good enough. I feel like that's going to have to be rotated a bit more to try and do that. Transform, rotate a bit. Yeah, I think it should be rotating down a bit. Um, rotate again. There. A very weird shape to it, light bulbs usually do. Enough, kind of. Okay, so then it's broken fragments. Uh, I want to do that and have like. Maybe a heart piece kind of over there. Um, the normal. Take that off. If I do that, it'd have to be like into here somehow. We'll figure out the placement whenever the time comes. I'll figure it out. I think maybe if I rotate it a bit more. have it over there, maybe a bit more, and what it is, so just kind of do that around there. Jagged edges. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. There. Have like the fragments kind of shattering over here. I don't know if they're going to allow for like the shattered glass look to it. They might, I don't know. I feel like they're gonna be a bit restrictive with that, but that's okay. 
an artist understands an artist and I respect their boundaries. There we go, take the sketch lines off. I think it'll be a bit shaded on the stem. So let's go in, erase that, give it a bit of shading. Took me what, like 15 minutes, 16 minutes? I think it'd be like a darker shade kind of shade that a bit. And erase this. And let's go a bit of the airbrushing again. gray up top and then we'll have the white for that there and then I feel like I feel like the light should be like I don't know if they're gonna be able to do I don't know if they're going to be able to do that nah I don't like the purple maybe blue I feel like it would have to be yellow I feel like it would have to be yellow It'd have to be yellow. Yeah, there we go. I think that would be a good idea. I feel like the light bulb, though, would be... Eyes down a bit. Would be like, I'll say, two point five to three inches. This one's about, I want to say about. Let me see. That one from there to there. About three and a half. Three and a half. I don't want it to be three and a half. I think three would be good. But if I remember correctly. Oh man. Wait, what? This one's too. So if they did a three inch of the light bulb, I might be able to get that better. Maybe. I might be able to.
Okay. So I need to like grab a thing and label this. So this one is zero. That one there to there. So that one is three point five inch. It's very noticeable. And I think that a what like a maybe three inch. Three inch would be three inch would be kind of noticeable. That one's 3.5, so it'd be slightly smaller. So then this one would be about 3 inch. That one's 3.5. So technically, I'd want to do 2.5 to 3 inch on that one. I think that would be a good choice. Ba, 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 ba. I think that those two there file. Okay, so Tattoo concept. If I do the band aid over the old tattoo, I think I'd do like. Three, four, five. I think if I did the band aid over, I would definitely do like here because I want a heart and then like that on the band aid. It would definitely be a cover up over the word hope. I did that. Definitely be cover up over hope. Then file. I'm gonna like square this off kind of thing because I need to mark off where this needs to be. <sighs> so what is getting Robo Dark Hero personal art safe work. You're the second person I need to do art for. I've got two people. You and one other person. I just haven't done theirs yet because they haven't showed up in stream. Do this one because there's um there's a tattoo sale going on tomorrow to help storm victims in the area that were affected by the tornado, and there's also an artist that is also doing um, a flash sale for donations to save his cat who has pancreatitis. So if I do get like a tattoo tomorrow during like the flash sale, it's going to go to one of those two causes because like I try to support causes and I want to even out the sides because this side has the moth, but I want to also have equal <laughs> kind of evened out one on each side. It just, it's uneven. So it makes me kind of, 
I want to even it out. So I want to have like some form of art here. And um, one of my friends suggested doing the light bulb that they have for the flash sheet. Because the flash sheet, if I can just kind of boom, uh, boom, boom. Let's grab the flash sheet, flash sheet real quick. So they, they, you can adjust the sizes that you want, but like the artist that is doing, let's hide the name real quick. <laughs> hide the town name. Um, but the artist that is doing the tattoos for flash stuff for the relief and storm victim stuff, they have different options for their, for their things. And I'm thinking that if I do them, I either want to try and do the, oh, let me try and put a little thing over here. I either want to try and do this one where it has like the moth has been coming out of the light bulb because light bulbs um, signify, a broken light bulb signifies that you're, you've been through trauma, you've been through like abuse and trauma and that you, if you have something that is like flowers or band-aids or like something coming out of the light bulb it shows there's transformation that happened and that you're healing so I feel like my map my moth because moths represent change and transformation and growth I feel like a light bulb broken light bulb and the moth coming out of the light bulb would be very symbolic and it would be very artistically expressive because I'd either do that one, or I would try and get the hope on my right wrist covered. Um, other than that, I think those are the two that I definitely want to get tomorrow. And I won't fill it if it's up here. I won't fill it on my chest, because I didn't fill the one that I have on this chest side. <laughs> I won't feel it, so it doesn't bother me. I'll just lay there and just be like. Because <sighs> last time I had the tattoo done on this side, I was just kind of laying there in the chair while he's working on it with my head turned because ink area working. I'm just like, how far are you? He was halfway done. I'm looking down like, oh, okay. And just like, this is actually, I just kind of want to fall asleep. This this is kind of relaxing. It's just a constant little scritch, 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 scritch. And I'm just like, going to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. This is nice. And I was holding conversations with, um, other people that were in the shop whenever I got this one done and there were two army guys people going through basic training that were getting tattoos done and this one guy got his whole arm wrap around um, Tokyo Ghoul stitch marks around his arm because that's a tattoo that he wanted and he had half of it done on one side of his arm and he was sitting there through the session and he's crying and in pain and saying how it hurts like a bitch. And I'm over here going, well, that's nice. But um, you fail to recognize that they have to do the other side of your arm too since you're doing a wrap around. You, you realize that, right? It hurts so bad, but I'm still going to get it done. Yeah, uh, quick question, Mr. Army Man person. You are training for basic training, sir. Have you ever worked in the medical field or had a major traumatic surgery? Um, have you ever had your insides cut in half? Because I have. So pain is, you're going to be going through a lot of pain and basic training. And you're, you're going to be going through things that you're going to have trauma from. I'm just letting you know that. Like your, your training sessions in, in the army and basic training are going to make you wish that you had never set foot on an army base camp. And um, 
Uh, I'm letting you know now that if you think that getting your whole arm tattooed is painful, then you you don't understand having to sit through like taser training, um, dodging live ammunition fire on a training practice field, and accidentally getting like something shot. Like you, you that is a part of basic training. And if you're in the Navy, you, you literally have to hold your breath until you can't hold your breath no more to where they have to resuscitate you. And you were complaining about your whole arm being tattooed all while you are training for the Army. Like, I, I get it. Everyone's pain level is different. But you are going into basic training, sir. You, 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 you. It's okay to cry if you need to cry. But, like, if you were thinking this hurts, um, good luck out there. And, um, good luck with basic training. Because, like, this, this, the what, what you're getting done is going to be minimal compared to what you're going to go through because what they have to train you for is is going to be very very painful i will say basic training from what i heard from a lot of people in the early 20s because i trained a bit of them they say it's not really that bad anymore everything gotten a lot softer easier even the walking iron is really easy to press You have to run a mile in under 17 minutes in the Air Force. So, running, I would not be able to do. And no, it's not just because I'm a heavyweight person. Um, I have asthma issues and I have heart issues. So if I tried to run, I would give myself a heart attack running. So basic training, I could not do. Going into the army and all that stuff I could not do physically mentally and intelligence wise to pass like an ASVAB or to pass like any of that I could do but I do not wish to participate in um, genocide or murder or any of that. I don't, I don't wish to participate in anything the army does. And that's just my personal opinion because the amount of therapy that people need after having to go through training and what they witness on the battlefield, I personally already have way too much trauma. And so I do not want to go through any more excessive trauma. I have so much trauma that I have also recently gotten a new mental health diagnosis and I am still processing and coming to terms with that. Like, if people want to join the army, that's on them, but, like, no. Right now, most fourth graders can walk a mile in under 17 minutes. And that's walking for a person who doesn't have asthma or much medical condition. It's pretty, pretty easy. So, if I'm biking two miles to somewhere, two miles back, so minimum round trip four miles, it is about, let's say, 15 minutes there for two miles biking and two miles back, 15 minutes back. So 30 minutes total for four miles. So I can bike. <laughs> I can bike a mile in under 10 minutes. <laughs> Technically, it would be if you 15 divided by, it's about seven and a half minutes for a mile of bike riding. So it's not that bad. But that's biking. Walking, running, 
I, I, you know, no, my uh, feet would hurt so bad. Like, I, I can walk, and sometimes, yeah, I walk about a mile in, like, when I'm getting fabric and stuff at the store, but that's walking around the whole store repetitively and focusing too much on what fabric I want to get, and then by the end of the day, I get home, and I'm just like, why do my feet hurt so freaking bad? Why do they hurt? Oh, because you were walking excessively and you have issues related to feet. Like, you, you, you have bone spurs that stick out of your feet. Right. <laughs> like, that is, that is, um, one of my issues is that I, I have deformities to my feet that make it painful and, um, basically I have a bone spur that sticks out of both of my heels connects my tendons in the back of my leg to the bone spurs to where anytime I walk, stand, or am on my feet, my body is receiving pain signals constantly. I mean, yeah, military training and stuff may not have bad been as bad as it used to be, but there are still some training places that are still that bad. It depends on the state and which state you're training in at the base camp. Because not all base camps are, like, the same in training regards. They have a specific... What's it called? Itinerary that they need to train, but each base camp does it differently. And each branch does it differently. And so, like, for me, whenever this guy said that he was in the Army training and stuff for that, I just kind of was like, you're complaining about a, like, I'm not saying that his pain isn't valid, but, like, you're complaining about a full arm tattoo that was taking you about three to four hours to get done. And yeah, I get it. A constant pain for that long could be painful. However, I don't think I would understand because I have like nerve damage in both my arms. So I, I getting my tattoos, getting tattoos done to my arms, I was just like, here you go. Uh, okay. Hmm. neat. Like, it was neat for me, but, yeah. We just get a lot of military people complaining how retail is harder than their training. Well, the government's play, paying military people, like, a ton versus people that are working retail jobs not getting paid even enough to pay their bills. So, like, they're paying people to fight for the country, but in the, the, that's a whole other situation. And, like, <laughs> my first tattoos I ever got were on my wrists. My wrists were my first tattoos. And one of the things about pain levels and tattoo placement, when you are learning about the amount of pain related to tattoos, the worst areas to get done are the ones where the bone is exposed the most. So say you're getting a tattoo and it's on your wrist. It's a high pain area for a lot of people. People getting, hi mystic, people getting tattoos around their elbows, their knees, on their feet, on like their rib cage especially, or the, like the spine or the back. Those areas are going to be highly painful. I haven't had a tattoo on my shoulder yet. That's probably a future plan eventually. I just need to figure out what I'm getting done as a tattoo on doing like hand tattoos, getting finger tattoos, stuff like that is also considered very painful because you are getting, you're getting bones tattooed essentially. I've ever got a tattoo, which I don't plan on it. I get it on my knuckles. 
So high pain probably. Yeah. That's... I mean... This probably wouldn't be... Okay, so for me, that probably wouldn't be that bad, but... Uh, I mean... I, I have like... One, two, three, four, five... Uh, a little bit of that, six, seven, seven finger tattoos. Excuse you, man, you loud, loud girl. Loud. Really on the bed, make biscuits on the bed. So I'm, I'm pretty used to like, I mostly got them all on my hands because I was like, huh. How bad do finger tattoos hurt? Because I was trying to test what my pain tolerance was. Then I started, like, getting them, and I was just like, that's it? Are you serious? Because people kept making it out to be a really big deal when you get finger tattoos that they hurt so bad. And I'm over here like, maybe it's just the bilateral nerve damage speaking on my part, but I didn't really, I was just like, why doesn't it hurt? <laughs> I wanted the big, not, not to sound bad, but like, I don't know. Excuse you. Why you be so needy? I love you, but like you're needy. So needy. I don't know. I personally, you're so needy. So, so needy. So, Joe, neither you bought, bought nugget. Are you done? You're not done. Unfortunately, I, I am having to give this cat attention or else she's going to yell at me. Kind of wrecked, so I'm about to pass out. I'm going to drop by and say hi. Okay. Thank you for the head pats and try and take care and try and have a good night. You're so needy. So needy. You're more needy than people I know. Come on. Stop being needy. Look, I give you attention. Was it because I was gone most of the day? This is because I was gone most of the day. I, I, look, this is not an intermission, okay? I know that you're being a butt for a reason. Are you done being a butt? We're done. No, you're not done. Okay. Well, I'm turning my chair, and if you have a problem with that, you can take it up with upper management. Because I'm not dealing with it. Your complaints have been rejected. Please file in five to seven business days. Okay, just file in five to seven business days. Thank you. I will. I'm trying to save this real quick because I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be going to go grab some lash tattoos tomorrow. Hopefully they go to relieving, um, they go to donating to the storm victims in our town and someone's cat. So someone's cat has pancreatitis. So that's what the tattoo funds end up getting donated to. So it's tattoos for a cause. I'm going to save this and print this real quick, and then I'll start on your art. Ma'am! Chill! And I'm going to go over to this. What exactly are you wanting drawn that is safe for work? So just stuff that's Twitch appropriate. Print. Yeah, that works. There we go. That should work. Awesome, awesome. Print. Stay. Okay, cool. Alright, so what are you wanting drawn? Try and grab this. 
I also don't know if you're in the Discord server, so I don't know if I can send you the drawing. So I'd have to find a way to send you the drawing. Thought you might be able to just take a screenshot of it. I don't know. What drawing are you wanting? I got Discord. Okay. Um, what drawing are you wanting done? What are you wanting me to draw? Just hoping it printed okay. This is not the long. It's about the right size. Yeah, it could be about there. Looks like a fair, but yeah, I think I got it. I got the placement. Awesome, awesome. I don't remember what I wanted, but can you do a hyper realistic Enderman Pearl? Ender Pearl. Hyper realistic Ender Pearl. Well, safe for work doodles aren't like something I could take a huge chunk of time on. They're like quick doodles. Hyper realistic Ender Pearl. Let me look up an Ender Pearl. I haven't ever gotten an Ender Pearl in um, Minecraft yet, so looking this up. No, not a stasis chamber, dummy. Dumb Google, dumb. Stop. Let's see. Hyperrealistic Ender Pearl. So is it supposed to be like something that looks like an Enderman eye? It's like an Enderman eye. Ender Pearl. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Is that just Enderman eyes? Yeah, but green. Okay. It's sort of like a eyeball kind of thing. Okay. Image. Copy. I'm just gonna do like that. There's that. So we gotta get those as reference and try and sketch this up. Hyper realistic. Okay. I can try, but I'm not gonna guarantee that's gonna be super awesome. I'm not going to draw a really perfect circle. It's never going to be perfect, but I can try. Circles I am not good at doing, apparently. Haha, <laughs> there. Technically, I don't think that's cheating, but it's a pen, so it works. to do the um, need to find and blur
color. Let's put it on a different layer real quick. Just really quick on that one. Grab darker color. I will try, um, but I've never really had any Minecraft requests before. So that was kind of a first. Mm, I see. So you're looking for an eye for like your channel or something. Okay. I mean, it's not that it's not good. I think that you just need to work on what you can. Don't try to give up on it. Just kind of have a little bit of faith in yourself and eventually you'll get there. You may not be where you want to be right now with your art, but just keep keep trying and keep going. Don't give up. The airbrush here um, airbrush. Um, a bit more on that. Kind of maybe airbrush. But I've been drawing for a while, so I mean, everyone's going to be at different skill levels, and I have been doing digital art for over 14 years, so I'm, I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's real enough, but I'm trying. Let's try and give a curvature to that. Yeah, 
be a dark green. What's that color there? Number four, number five, seven. I really wish I could do this a bit better on the curvature. Let's try and get the lines curved enough. I think this is about as hyper realistic as I can do at the moment. Or an Enderman eye. I'm gonna try and do like a behind color real quick. Just to fill in any spaces that may show up as transparent. Because a lot of the time you have to have transparent layers behind to set stuff as like icons and when you're doing stuff and you don't want to have a background, you can make a background of the image transparent. I think you should just keep trying and you'll eventually get there. I wouldn't say to doubt your art. I'd say just give your time, give yourself time and eventually you'll be where you want to be. Keep practicing. That's, that's what I can say about that. Alright, then take those off. Since it's a Twitch icon thing, we're going to do a new file size for the Twitch icon. 12, 12. I'm gonna merge all these layers down because, okay, you probably shouldn't do that, but you know, whatever. File, save as. I mean, you can probably find me on Discord. It should be the same name. It should be, uh, let me see if I can. Uh, that's my Discord. And I'm gonna paste this here. Wrong thing, that is not what I wanted. Stupid, stupid thing. A, C, and that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. There's that. Try to do a bit bigger on that. Boom. Control, save as. Ender. And I. PNG and save opacity. The opacity is the transparency. Boom. Okay. Go to Discord. Uh, who am I searching for on Discord? Ah, friends. Ending. Enderman. There we go. Uh, Enderman. I will send you the file. It should be transparent. Boom. There you go. Drawing done.
was parachuting at a convention today. <laughs> I have a. Jeez. Oh, if I can get it to get back on my head. This is something I made. <laughs> this is um, one of my characters. And yeah. Got fur in my mouth. <laughs> there you go. So it should be able to be set as icons, images, and it should also set as a transparency level. So whenever you go to set it as like a channel icon, it'll just have like a black or blank background, depending on if you're set in light or dark setting. Since there's transparency around the eye, it shows up kind of like a sticker does on Telegram. What the heck is with that transparency like that? Oh no, what the fudge? Fudge monkeys. Are you kidding me? There's something wrong with it? No way, man. No, 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 no. That can't be. That's bogus. Hold on, I need to check something because that's not setting well with me. I just noticed something I need to correct real quickly. Alright buddy, where are you? There's something going on here. I am not a fan. Is it on this layer? I'm gonna have to play which layer is it? And that's gonna be a pain in my butt. Okay, that layer there. Yeah, that's not sitting well with me. So there's a slight halo around this, which shouldn't be there. And that would be from me coloring way outside the lines. So right now, I'm having to do a little touch up and try and redo the file a bit because it should not have any issues. There we go. Control A, C. I will get to them here in a moment. I'm trying to make sure this file is not bad. 
save that. Go there. And those aren't bad. You've got good line work. I'll try and send the correct file because that last one has a halo around it. And that's not good for icons and stuff. Why is it? Wait, why is it? Oh, shoot. I forgot to take away that file. Save as, Enderman I, yes. See the transparency, thank you. Okay, let's try again. Where are you? There you are. Because that last one had a halo around it, and I didn't like that. That should be better now. Because that was not okay. Back. Discard, open. There we go. That one's better. What the flying blade? Is there stuff going around the outside? What the heck? So it's like there. Trying to see where all of this is on here. File, save. Discard, open. Good enough. I'm just gonna have to call it good enough and stop trying to be a perfectionist. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't like being a perfectionist. There we go. Okay, that's still, I hope I sent the right one. Let's see if I did. Okay. That one needs to be deleted. Boom. Then send this one up. There we go. There. That one is as close as I can get it. Also, I saw that you changed the icon to the Enderman eye. Nice. I'm glad it works. <laughs> Whew. I was just like, oh god, what have I done? <laughs> but that is done, and that is good. And I am glad that you like it. I am probably going to call it for now for stream tonight because I have been up since 6 a.m. Well, 7 technically, but apparently the people I went to the convention with uh, thought it was a wonderful idea to try and wake up at 7 a.m. on a Saturday. And um, I'm not a morning person. I'm really not. I don't like to wake up that early. But I got a really cool plush at the convention today. Well, for suiting. I got this little kitsune. He's cute. Yes. 
a little tiny kitsune. Well, I say tiny, it's it is tiny compared to the fursuit. But yeah. Gotta put my badges up. Made badges for my fursuit. There we go. And then one of my friends at the convention ended up um, they're an artist in the artist alley, so they drew a picture of my Sona. It's really cool. And I got that over here. Uh, let's see who's streaming right now. Anyone streaming? Ah, there is someone streaming Minecraft. Cool. Let's go ahead and go raid a friend. They are playing Minecraft right now. Let me make sure I type this correctly. All right, cool. So if you haven't already, remember to take your meds, eat food, drink water, get rest. Let's go raid Medusa because they're doing Minecraft. Yeah, that or yeah, there's a person also doing Splatoon 3. Brand Vixen's doing this for two. There's also a VTuber I follow. Uh, let's go ahead and do. We're doing Dead by Daylight, Splatoon. Kingdom Hearts. Nice. Go raid Rin Vixen. Oh wait, they have 240 people. I want to do 240 people. They have like enough viewers right now. Who doesn't have enough viewers? Okay, cool. Let's go read them. Let's give them some love. This channel is intended for mature audiences. Oh, whoops.